Are you bored of using the same generic t-shirt mock-ups that everybody else uses? Well stick around because I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom t-shirt mock-up in Photoshop. What's up designers, welcome back to Digifrog Designs. If you're new here, I'm Matt Roberts, brand identity designer and illustrator. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create custom t-shirt mock-ups like these. I'm going to be walking you through the process step by step and I'm going to be showing you a few tricks along the way to create a more realistic t-shirt effect. Before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We post new videos every Wednesday helping you become a better designer. Let's jump over to the computer and take a look at how to create our own t-shirt mock-up in Photoshop. So the first thing that we need is an image to mock our design up on. Um, this is just one that I've had from Unsplash. The method I'm going to be showing you today can be used to mock your designs up on any type of clothing. On a person, off a person, whatever, the same method works. We're going to be using a displacement map to map our artwork to the t-shirt. It basically uses grayscale values to distort um, a design to conform them to the map that's been created. Um, I'm not going to pretend that I know the ins and outs of how it actually works. I'm just going to go with its Photoshop wizardry. So to create the displacement map from the image that we've got, what we're going to do is I'm going to come over here to channels and then what I'm going to do is just cycle through individual channels, just looking for the one that's got the most contrast in. Um, so from here, I'm probably going to go with either the red or the green channels got more. Um, so I'm going to go with the green channel. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to create a new document. So I'm going to click duplicate channel and then I'm going to change the destination to new. And then I'm just going to call it displacement. And then I'm going to click on OK. And what that'll do is it'll open the displacement map up in a new tab. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm also just going to adjust the level slightly by using Command and L on my keyboard, or I can come up to Image, Adjustments, and then Levels. And then from there, I'm just going to fine tune the mids just to try and create a bit more contrast in the image. Um, once I'm happy with it, because this T-shirt's got some um, a heathery effect to it. I'm just going to also distort the image slightly using a Gaussian blur um, just to soften that off because if we have the heather texture in there and it's too strong, the displacement map will actually conform the design to the texture of the heather and we want it to focus more on the shape of the t-shirt. So once I'm happy with where the blur's sat, I'm just going to hit an OK and then I'm just going to save that to my desktop. Once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to close that off and then go back to my original file. So now I'll switch back over to the t-shirt. Um, so now we're back over to the original file. I'm just going to switch all the channel layers back on and then what I'm going to do is create a new layer and the way we're going to map our artwork to this file is I'm going to be using a smart object. You could map the artwork directly to the t-shirt using the same method that I'm going to show you but the way, I, the reason I like to do it this way is the smart object allows me to reuse the file in the future. So what I'm going to do is create a new layer and once I've got my new layer I'm just going to select the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw out a rectangle on the front of the t-shirt roughly to the size of the working area of where a design will be featured on there. And then what I'm going to do is come to Filter, Distort, Displace. I'm going to convert to Smart Object. So the horizontal and vertical scales vary, will vary dependent upon your displacement map. And because you've got a Smart Object, you can go back in and um, fine tune these values. So to start off with, I'm just going to select five for each, and then I'm going to hit on OK. Once I've done that, I'm going to select the displacement map that we created before and then hit open. And what it'll do is it'll map the rectangle that we've put on there to the artwork. As we can tell, it's not displaced it too much. It's added some, it's followed some of the shapes in there. But what I want to do is make that a little bit stronger. So what I'm going to do is double click on my displace here and I'm going to bump it up to 10 and then hit OK. Select the displacement map again and hit an OK. So now I've got that following there, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to right click on this and come to blending options and then I'm going to be using this blend if panel here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the black value but if you see if I move this straight off it actually starts to remove large portions of the, um, the rectangle that we've got on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold alter option and then I'm going to split those it allow me to be a little bit more precise with the underlying values that are coming through. I'm going to do the same with the light areas as well. Once I've got it somewhere I'm happy with, I'm just going to hit OK. Um, these are values that you can fine tune because depending on the artwork, you might need a little bit more, you might need a little bit less. Um, 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at actually applying the artwork into this smart object layer. So to do that, I'm just going to double click on my rectangle layer. As you'll see here, we've got our um, rectangle that we created before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that layer off and I'm just going to create a new layer. And I'm just going to use this file that I've got here. Once I've dragged that in there, I'm just going to resize it to suit. Um, again, I'm going to need to come back and fine tune this a little bit further as we as we put the rectangle over the whole front edge of the t-shirt. We need to resize this to actually suit a little bit better. But once I've got it somewhere that I'm happy with for now, I'm just going to give it a black colour so we can see it. And to do that, I'm just going to go to blending options and just add a colour overlay of black. Once I've done that, I'm just going to hit, um, I'm just going to save that layer. I'm just going to save that file. And then what I'm going to do is just switch back over to my original file. And as you can see, it's actually mapped that design to the t-shirt. I'm going to come back in and fine tune these, um, the blend if options, just to try and make it fit a little bit more with a t-shirt. And you can see how it's pulling some more of the textures of the t-shirt in there, making it look a bit more realistic. With making this artwork layer a smart object, we can actually go in and change this design as many times as we want and just you reuse the same file rather than having to remake the same file over and over again. So to do that, we just do the same thing we did before. Double click on the layer, it'll open it up in a new tab. And then just for example, let me add in um, another version of this that we've got here. So I'm going to resize that pull it up and then add that same color overlay that we did before and just clear that layer out and save it. Once I've saved, head back over to the original file and there we go. And as you can see, it's following the shape of the t-shirt quite nicely. And that's how you make a t-shirt mock-up in Photoshop. You can use this to add it to any image. You don't have to use it as a flat lay. And this is not only limited to t-shirts, you can do hoodies, jumpers, whatever. The displacement map even allows you to map artwork to walls, um, crevices, anything like that, um, anything where there's any drops or shading, you can use it to create some awesome designs with. Thanks for watching designers. If you like this video, smash that subscribe button, give it a like, and also don't forget to ring that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Share this video with your friends on social. It really helps me reach more people, educate them on building better brands, and showing them what actually goes into designing them. And shop the merch to support the channel, and show you part of the DFD crew. I'll catch you next week, designers.